and welcome to Central High School. My name is Cheryl West and I'm the Director of Counseling, Youth Development and Leadership with the East Syracuse Manoa School District. We are very excited that you have an eighth grade student who will be moving up to the high school next fall. Our comprehensive high school offers a wide range of courses that are taught by caring and dedicated teachers. Our high school supports students' academic, social, and emotional growth and development. The homeschool partnership is an important part of your child's growth and development. At the high school, we have an open door policy. If your child needs help or support, please reach out to their teacher, counselor, or administrator. We also have an outstanding team of school counselors that will work very closely with your child to guide them through their course selections, support their social emotional growth, and to assist them with the school to college and career pathway. Thank you for joining us this evening. We hope that you will find this presentation both informative and helpful as your child prepares to transition to the high school. We look forward to meeting you in person and welcoming your child to the class of 2026. Hi, my name is Chris Robinson. I'm one of the counselors here at the high school, and I'd like to talk to you about the transition from middle school to high school. We are all well aware that the transition is a significant one for both students and parents. Counselors and administrators are certainly here to help students and parents throughout this transition. I'd like to talk about some of the similarities and differences between middle school and high school. Starting with morning announcements, each morning during second block class, video announcements for the day are broadcasted in each classroom from our own TV news studio within the building. Students and staff learn about anything from upcoming events to important dates and college admissions visits. Something that students can look forward to here at the high school is an increase in freedoms. So for example, each student is given a locker which will be theirs for their entire high school career. They're also permitted to carry their backpacks with them throughout the building. We have a school store where students are sometimes permitted to grab a cookie or snack, a smoothie, or something else to drink between classes or during a study hall. With regard to homework and extra help, as you'd expect, moving up to the high school comes with an increase in responsibility. Students are expected to spend a little more time and effort on homework and the consequences of not completing classwork and homework become a bit more significant. The hope is that students established good homework habits in middle school, which will help translate to a strong work ethic here at the high school. We have an after school period every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday where teachers are available for extra help. This period runs from 325 until 405. Students can then take the late buses home, and it's a great way to get additional support for classes. Study halls are best used to complete work and seek extra help from teachers. Remember that in high school here, study halls are 80 minutes long. So it's a good opportunity if you're able to take advantage of a long duration of time to get some extra work done, seek extra help from teachers, or go to the library and do research. The next category is helpful tools. School tool is a great tool for students and parents to utilize. Parents can check the status of their child's grade, look up their schedule, and see the names of their child's teachers. The Google Classroom is another technology-based tool that most teachers are using now within the classroom. It enables students to go online, right to their Google Classroom, to check assignments, complete tasks, 
and communicate with their teachers. We still encourage students to use their agenda books on a daily basis because it's an effective way to maintain homework habits and good organization. Like in middle school, assignments can be recorded and long-term projects can be mapped out. We encourage all students to develop relationships and make connections with their teachers, counselors, administrators, or any other staff member in the building. A connection with a trusted adult in many ways can help facilitate student success in high school. Lastly is the importance of getting involved. Studies show that the more a student is involved in their high school community, the higher the chances are for academic success. Sports is just one way a student can get involved. We have a variety of diverse clubs and activities that students can participate in throughout the year. Thank you, and I look forward to meeting you all. Hi, this is Ms. Moisson, one of the high school counselors, and I'd like to talk to you about how to keep in touch with your child's school counselor and keep up to date with the counseling news and events. The ESM Central High School Counseling Office is on social media. We have a Facebook and Instagram page. Please scan the QR codes shown on the screen to follow our content. If you need to make an appointment with your school counselor, please email the counselor directly or make an appointment in the office with one of the counseling office secretaries. We also have resources such as the counseling office webpage on ESM's district website and a program called Naviance, which Mr. White will speak about later in the presentation. Hello, my name is Crystal Ward and I'm the coordinator for Spartan Academy, College and Career Pathways. I'd like to share with you a little bit about two opportunities that we have partnering with Onondaga Community College. The first is called OCC Advantage. Students sign in the fall of their freshman year to become a part of OCC Advantage. After maintaining the, specific, the specified criteria for the four years that they're in high school, they will become eligible for free tuition at OCC. The second is Spartan Academy. This is part of the Early College High School program. Students must apply. They must show an interest in a STEM-focused field and be motivated to participate in a rigorous program of study. Students attend college courses in the summer and in the morning of their senior year. Students that complete the program have the opportunity to earn up to an associate's degree as well as their high school diploma. As you think about your high school schedule, please visit the Career Pathways website by using the QR code on the side. The pathways provide information on possible careers and other activities that might interest you. You will find the programs the electives and the clubs that are available to help you earn more experience in a field that interests you. The Career Pathways are an excellent way to think about what your future might look like after your four years here at the high school. Hi, this is Ms. Campo. I'm going to discuss how class schedules work at the high school, what a typical freshman schedule looks like, and what credits are needed to graduate with a high school diploma. Students are required to earn 22 credits to earn a high school diploma, four credits in English, four in social studies, three in math, three in science, one in world language, one in fine art or music, two credits in physical education, half credit in health, and three and a half credits of elective courses. Students also have the option of working towards an advanced regions diploma, which requires at least three credits of world language and certain specifications within their math course sequence. For that reason, we encourage students to continue with world language and math throughout high school. Counselors will work with students and families throughout high school to select courses that align with a student's diploma and college and career goals. ESM Central High School operates on a block schedule consisting of four block class periods each day. Each block consists of one hour and 20 minutes of instructional time. Block two is extended to include a 20 minute lunch period for all students. There are five minutes of passing time between each block. Our schedule also operates on a four-day cycle. We rotate through days one, two, three, four, then repeating back to the start of the cycle. Classes meet every other day, so a student will have certain classes on their odd day schedule and certain ones on their even day schedule. 
The exceptions to this are lab-based sciences, which meet three of the four days, and physical education, which, which meets one of the four days. The schedule displayed on this slide is a typical freshman year schedule. The student is taking all of their required core academic courses with English, social studies, math, and science. The student is also continuing with world language as we recommend. You'll see that beyond these core courses, there is space in the schedule for electives and study hall. This student in particular is taking a course to fulfill their fine art or music requirement, and that leaves room for an additional elective or a study hall. On their course selection form, students will indicate which fine art, music, and other elective courses they are interested in taking. As well, students can specify if they would prefer to have a half year or full year study hall in their schedule. Counselors will work with students and their families to balance diploma requirements, the students' interests, and course availability to ultimately create their freshman class schedule. Hi, my name is Mike White. I'm one of the school counselors at the high school. I'm here to talk about the counselor's role at the high school, as well as some of the additional resources that we have to offer, like our website. Um, for starters, as a school counselor, we are assigned to and work with your child all four years of high school. The counselor assignment happens by an alphabetical split. And as your child goes through their high school career, we are one of the, the people that, that stays consistent all four years. We support students in three main areas or domains. Those are academics, college and career, and social emotional areas. For academics, we support in course selection, grades, collaborating with teachers, and graduation requirements. College and career, we help guide students in career exploration and choices college search and the process. And we recognize that there are traditionally four paths when you leave high school. There's college, there's career, military, and trade school. And whatever is the best fit for your child, we will certainly support in that area. The last area is the social emotional um, component or domain. And this may range from a student having a difficult, uh, difficult day, uh, being upset about a, a quiz or a test, a relationship or bullying, and it can also range all the way up to um, concerns about self-harm, mental health referrals. In ninth grade, your child will meet with their counselor uh, once by one-on-one -on -one at the beginning of the year. We try to do this by November, early December, to get to know your child, um, to talk about future plans, courses, and just the general layout of how high school works. We will then meet with your child again in February or March, where we discuss the following year and what 10th grade will look like. Um, and then certainly any other areas of concern or a student needs to check in, we also meet by appointments and when available. Additionally, there's a lot of valuable information on our website. As you can see here, the counseling office has all of our contact information where you can get in touch with us, which you can see down below with all of our names and email information. We break down information by grade level down the left-hand side, as well as other valuable information and resources related to college, the community, volunteer opportunities, and summer camps. Another resource that we have at our disposal supports in that area or domain of college and career. We have a program called Naviance. This program is our vehicle to career and college exploration. Within this Naviance program, your child will be able to do career assessments, research careers, research colleges, um, look up scholarships. An account will be created with your student when they meet with their counselor in their ninth grade meeting in the fall. Thank you. My name is Jackie Riley, and I'll be talking to you about next steps in the scheduling process. In the next several weeks, your students will be meeting with their middle school counselors to discuss career pathways and the elective course choices that will be available to them in ninth grade. During that meeting, Students will be asked to complete the scheduling worksheet. This is where students will put in their requests for elective choices for next year. 
After students have requested their electives for next year, a letter will be sent home to families that includes a copy of the student's choices, a brochure that contains the course descriptions of ninth grade elective course choices will also be included in that mailing. And finally, our next steps include scheduling that will happen in the spring and throughout the summer. Counselors will connect with students then. Schedules will be mailed at the end of August and ninth grade orientation happens late in August as well. If you have any questions, always feel free to contact the Middle School Counseling Office for help.